guys what is up welcome to my channel so I'm so excited because I finally have a new review for you guys on a product that I'm really excited about so for today's video I'm going to be reviewing the newest Natasha Denona release and this is her bloom blush and glow palette so if you want to hear my thoughts on this then just keep watching If you've been on my channel for a while, you know how we do. Let's talk about the major facts about this guy. So it is $55. It's available right now on Natasha Denona, Beautylish, and Sephora. It is free of parabens, it's cruelty free, and it is described as an ultimate glow palette inspired by Natasha Denona's best-selling diamond and blush palette featuring some of her best-selling shades and formulas. So let's get into the packaging of this guy. It comes in a very light peach boxing and then I'm just gonna throw that off right now and reveal the prettiest part of it. The packaging is gorgeous. It's this almost creamy orange sickle kind of color and it's much prettier, much more detailed than the actual diamond and blush palette. And then you open it up and of course it reveals the four shades, two blush products and two highlighter products. Now I don't know if you can see this little plastic guy above. So these two are cream products. So this plastic panel protects the powders from the bottom two getting into the cream product as well as it gives the cream products a longer lifetime because it helps from drying now. So this quad contains one glow cream base, which is like a cream highlighter, one cream blush, one glow extreme, which is a highlighter, and one duo glow. As you can see from the swatches, I would describe this as almost a rosy peach coral palette. Really gorgeous and perfect for the springtime. Now really quickly, I do kind of want to compare this guy to the original diamonds and blush palette. So this comes in two shades. I do have a review of it. I personally only have the Daria, and so color-wise, this is much more pink. If you have Daria, you're not getting any of the same colors in this palette. So immediately, as you can tell, this palette is much, much larger than the Bloom palette, making this a much better option for a travel palette if you do like the formula of this. Now, I do have a review of the Diamond and Blush if you are interested in hearing more details about this, but that's not what this is about. Immediately, I do want to talk about the price difference. This is $89. This is $55. So this is a little less than half of the price. But of course, you get six shades in here and you only get four in the Bloom palette. And as you can see, we have very different pan sizes. For this guy, each pan is seven grams of product, whereas here it is about 3.4 grams of product. So it's about half the amount of product. Personally, I love how Natasha is doing mini products for less money. It makes it much more easy for you guys to afford her products. And for somebody like me who has a lot of makeup, I'm not going to finish one of those big pans anyways. The fact that it's smaller and I'm paying less is saving me both money and product. If you do do the math, this is a better value. But for me personally, this is a bit of a bigger waste because I'm hardly going to use this and it's more money. Formulation wise, there are two formulas that are in here that are not not included in the bloom palette which is the diamond powder and the powder blush which I'm okay with and I'll explain why also in the diamond palette the duo glow is actually considered a cream whereas in the bloom palette the duo glow is actually now a powder which I personally prefer so I'm gonna show you how I did this look and how each of these products applied so I started off with the cream blush shade now this blush shade is a deep cherry red with a subtle bronze shine and by the way I didn't apply any powder on my face because I knew I was going in with creams over it and I would suggest that if you are going to use this palette or the cream products not to put down powder quite yet so because the shade is very very intimidating I went in with a duo fiber brush to apply it just to kind of sheer it out a little bit and not allow me to apply so much product at once obviously it's a very bright and pigmented blush it blended out like a dream this is a beautiful spring shade if you're a blush lover you're going to love this and if you have a deeper skin tone this is going to look phenomenal on you but even though I am pretty fair I still like it just be aware of how you apply it loved using this with the duo fiber brush if you want to know what it is I'll put down the brushes that I talk about down below then I went in with the glow cream base now this works as a base for the glow extreme powder this is a light peach shade and because cream and liquid highlighters tend to break up my foundation I decided that I wanted to use my finger to apply and I just lightly blended my finger in and patted it on my cheek now in this quad I'm not gonna lie this is probably my least favorite just because the shade of it is too dark for me personally now it did work however it did add a peach shade to my cheek 
so that's going to be more flattering on somebody with a deeper skin tone so here's the deal it adds the glow I saw the glow it was really pretty it's just I also saw that it did add peach to my cheekbones which isn't the most flattering usually on the highlighted areas you want something of a lighter shade not a darker shade and it works out in the end for lighter skin tones because you are going to put a powder over top later but on my skin tone and anybody more fair than me putting this on alone isn't the best option so then I went in with the duo glow powder I just use a regular blush brush to apply it I love this I think it's beautiful if you don't like a shimmery blush you're not going to like this so this is described as a vibrant coral with champagne shift to it like a golden champagne shift I definitely saw that it's a very strong duochrome so it did add a lot of sheen to my face I didn't notice it really emphasizing texture which is very good considering my whole cheek is highlighted I think it's a really beautiful blush but seriously if you don't like a super shimmery cheek you're not gonna like this but I thought it was beautiful and finally I went in with the glow extreme powder I put that on the tops of my cheekbones beautiful extremely extremely glowy not completely necessary because my whole cheek was glowing already from the duo glow but the glow is really really extreme in this especially with the cream base if you aren't aware the cream base is included because when you put down a cream base first, every single particle of pigment is going to stick onto that cream base to make it that much more extreme and glowy. You can use this without the cream base if you want something a little bit more subdued. It's still going to be crazy, but it's more subdued without the cream base. But if you want that crazy glow, putting this on top of the cream base really is going to direct that pigment and make it glow. So this palette's also very versatile because you can use it on your eyes and your lips as well. So what I did was I actually used the Duo Glow all over my eyes as you can see really gorgeous for the spring I also use the cream blush on my lips that's what Natasha showed in her video exfoliate your lips before you put this on your lips because my lips were looking crusty I had to put a gloss on over top but if you are looking for kind of an all-in-one palette eyes cheeks and lips this did work the cream blush actually did apply a really pretty lip tint all over so if you're getting ready really fast in the morning and you don't want to grab a lipstick just dip your finger in the blush and kind of dot it all over and it makes a really beautiful lip tint here is also my suggestion for this palette as far as making looks as you can see I use all four products on my cheek I think for the everyday person that can be a bit much I'm not gonna tell you what to do but I'm just saying this is a lot of color on my cheeks for a really pretty editorial look I would recommend keeping the eyes very simple with maybe just mascara and actually blending all four if you want to use all four products into your temples and into your eyes that's going to create a really pretty editorial spring look that is still kind of wearable but of course if this is a bit much for you because I'm a blush girl but I don't know that I would go all out like this on my cheeks for every day what I think would be a good alternative just using the cream blush alone is a really gorgeous blush and then a little bit of the glow extreme that's going to look really nice for every day or if you're in a rush literally just applying the duo glow that is going to create a highlight and a blush on your cheek all in one so using this alone would be pretty for the everyday woman using these two would be pretty for the everyday woman and if you have a medium to deep skin tone using this as a very subtle highlight I think would work wonderfully as well if you are more fair than me I don't know that this is the best option for you you do have to go in with a very light hand if that's the case obviously it worked on me I'm totally happy with it but just in my personal opinion medium to deep skin tones you're going to love this as well so you're not excluded from this product if you cannot tell I'm loving this product I think it is awesome I think the quality is really good I think Natasha Denona did a really great job with this palette the quality is beautiful it's very versatile it's perfect for spring it's perfect for many different skin tones it's portable the packaging is smart I really cannot say enough good things about this palette and if you love a really dramatic glowy cheek and you're a blush person you're gonna love this and you guys know I wouldn't recommend it to you if I didn't think you would love it so that being said everything I mentioned all the brushes everything else that's on my face I will link it down below if you are interested in checking it out I hope you found this review helpful let me know if you are picking this quad up if you ask me Natasha I think you need to make more of these in different colors I would totally pick them up they are awesome thank you guys so much for watching remember to subscribe to my channel like this video and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys have a great day